Hey guys, Prank Chaos from Team Chaos Stream here, also known as Christian the Haver Card Man. I do have my own channel, so if you want, be sure to go check that out in the description. Today, we are going to be covering my Gradle Frog Heroes build and doing some games. Uh, as you can see, this is going to be a pretty rough deck. That's a lot of different engines to throw in together. But before we get into that, be sure to check out all the links down in the description to not only my channel, but also the Coalition of Scrubs, as well as everyone else involved. If you guys don't know the Coalition of Scrubs yet, it's a group that me and Dank Chaos are a part of, where we get together and make you guys some awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! content with several other Yu-Gi-Oh! tubers. All of the individuals will be linked down as well, so be sure to go check them all out and give them all some love. And on my channel, I'm doing deck profiles every single week, as well as live streams, podcasts, and occasionally some other content like deck reviews and meta analysis be sure to go check that all out uh you guys have been crazy and supporting me so far so please go show us some love so without further ado let's go ahead and get into this very crappy gradle frog heroes build and i realized that with my last video or at least with my volcanic extra dolls i forgot to include a deck list so i'm going to make sure that i get you guys out today i will leave it down in the description so you can go check it out there but you can kind of see it here it's just a pretty rough lineup you got some simple heroes uh you got your gradles of course your frog stuff and just some spell and traps that help balance out the deck and keep things going with your engines uh, like i said the actual deck list will be down below so you guys can see everything here and see what this deck is made of so let's go ahead without further ado let's go ahead and hop into a live game and see how well this deck goes all right so here we are ready with game one let's see what we're going up against here pick and rock as always and uh, if you guys like this style of live duels, let us know down in the comments. I think I might start doing this personally more often. I know Dank Chaos is more of a replay kind of guy, but uh, I really struggle with farming for replays. So he hit the paper. We're going to be going second, which is honestly fine for this deck. Opening hand looks like we already got a couple of plays to make here, so totally, totally cool with that. Opening up the Dimension Shifter. That hurts. That really already does hurt. Okay, so we're playing a control deck, obviously. Uh, there's really no if, ands, or buts about it. Which means our frog plays have basically been turned off. Um, wow, this is going to be rough. Alright, so we'll go ahead and activate the emergency call right off the bat. Hopefully it doesn't get ash or negated. I feel like it probably will though. Waiting for it. Nope, nothing. Okay, sweet. So we can get our Stratos. We'll be able to get him just fine. And uh, we're actually, oddly enough, not running like a hero fusion build. So this is going to be very interesting. Is he going to negate that? I feel like that's going to hit the solemn. I feel like that's what he's got in his back row. That's got to be. I'm very interested to see where this deck goes. Uh, I almost wouldn't be surprised if it was just a straight up anti-meta deck. We'll see how see how bad this is. Alright. Got any, any response? Is it good? Is the solid sludge good? I think he's probably reading it to make sure that it's nothing too crazy. He knows that I searched the Stratos, so he knows that I'm just going to try to play the Stratos and get a search. So, yep, there's the Solemn Judgment. Going to take out our Summon for the turn. And that's really all we got. So, I might just throw out the Swap Frog here and just opt to not throw something in the Grave so we got something in for defense. But I don't think he's going to output a lot of damage, so we'll just call the turn there. That's totally fine. Um, I mean, he's only got three cards in hand, one face down card. He'll probably ping me for a little bit of damage, but I highly doubt he's going to be able to pop off an OTK. And this way, we'll also be able to have our graveyard set up. So he's going to go for a rank four, I can almost guarantee it here. So he's, is he playing Charmers? Is that what he's doing? Oh boy. Okay. So I'm not quite sure what he's aiming for here. He's probably going to poke for 1600 really quick and then go into a rank four. I have to imagine that he's trying to, oh, it's, it's Ritual Beast. What? Oh. Oh, okay, I haven't seen this deck before. That's probably why. I probably look like an idiot now. <laughs> it, ha it helps when you actually read the cards and see what they do. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so he's oh he's going for the link two of Verti Anaconda, so he's gonna pull out the he's gonna pull out the big boy, the red eyes dragoon. Yep. So he's already down to two k life points, so he's kind of hurting himself here. Cause that's all of his summons for the turn, and he just dedicated it into doing thirty five hundred while he's down to two thousand. So this. It's going to be rough. Actually, uh, if he doesn't negate it, I want to try to proc him with the Swap Frog. I want to see if there's a way that I can get into a Utopia double. I kind of doubt it, but I'm going to hope. Um, see what we draw here. So we draw into the Gradle. That's going to be a rough one. Um, you know, I'm really not sure what to do here. Uh, we'll just we'll try special summoning the Swap Frog. Pitch you to the grave. Special summon you over here. See if he see if he negates this. He's only got the one card in hand, so that's gonna be his only negate. Okay, so he's not gonna hit it. Oh wait, actually maybe he still will. Hold on. We started the chain. Is he gonna respond to that? Is he gonna allow me to dump a frog? I really want to see if I can bait the negate on this. The only real hope we have here is being able to go into the Utopia double. Um, 
but I'm not sure how we're going to accomplish that if we're being quite honest. This is going to be a very yeah. So there's the dragoon. I was I was waiting for the negate. Makes sense. Um. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So I might actually. Hmm. Because I don't know if he's he might end up just using the card. Let's see here. I think I'm just gonna set this and see what happens. See if I can end up stealing that dragoon. Let's see if he let's see if he wastes the waste the one card that he draws instead of keeping it for a gate. Oh, that's right, dragoon can send a graveyard. Oh no, I forgot about that. I actually completely forgot about that. Whoops, my bad. <laughs> wow, I definitely feel that. Is this guy really just gonna win off of a single dragoon? Because that's honestly a little pathetic. I'm not gonna lie. Yep, that's GG's. So. We're gonna go hop into a different game. This one was kind of sad. I'm sorry about that, guys. Control decks. You know, they're just, they're dumb. This guy was literally just playing Red Eyes Turbo, so. Sorry about that. Let's go ahead and hop into game two and see if we can do any better here. Alright, so going into game two now, let's see how Dumpster Fire this is. He's opening up the rock. I'm opening up the rock. He pulls out the scissors. Let's go first. I don't think it really matters too much with this deck. It probably, in hindsight, would have been better to go second, but that's okay. So we're gonna special summon our boy Swap Frog here. We're gonna. Dip the Ronin Tone into Grave, put the Swap Frog on the field, hit his effect. Hopefully we don't get Ash, but it doesn't matter because we already got the Ronin Tone in Graveyard. And is he going to hit that with some sort of response? I hope it's not a Gamma. Okay, an Imperm, that's fine. We can live with an Imperm. As long as we got the, the materials on field, that's really all we needed. Because now we get a normal some of the Dupe Frog. Alright. So he doesn't have anything on field, but... We can do this here. So we can go for the IP if we wanted to. We can just go straight into the Toad now. Um, You know, I feel like it's just going to be better to go for the IP and just Link Climb here. I feel like that's the way to go. So obviously we're not going to get the Dupe Frog effect because it does miss timing, which is fine. Can we not... Oh, I was going to say, can we not activate the Ronin Toad? And I was going to get genuinely concerned there. Alright, so we'll get him out. Anything to stop us here? Nope, nothing. Alright. I don't know if there really was more link plays. Uh, okay, so it's the Nightmare Unicorn. Do we have, can we climb up from there? I can't remember if I threw in the Axis code or not. I did, perfect. So yeah, we'll just kind of climb up here, go into the Nightmare Unicorn with the IP. I know it's kind of a waste of an IP. Um, no, we're not going to discard to send anything back because there's no point in doing that. Any responses? Nope, all right, which means we can go straight for the Ronin Tonin. Banner the other Swap Frog. And be able to get ourselves a 5300 access code talker here in just a second. Alright, it's going to be kind of a sad uh, access code pass, but you know, it is what it is. We've got stuff set up in Graveyard, so it's it could be worse. It definitely could be a lot worse. So yes, use your effect, get the name of Unicorn, and 5300. Good thing he already wasted the Imperm, so we didn't really have to worry about that. And just as a little bit of a bait, we'll set up this double or nothing, because really right now it does nothing for us. All right, pass turn back to him, see what happens, drawing a card. So he's sitting at five cards in he did use that Imperm, so let's see if he has the means to do a combo here, or if he's just going to be playing control, but so he's going to hit up with the Imperm right away. That's really sad to see, actually. Um, wow, really feels bad, man, really feels bad. I don't think he gets his, uh, oh, Trick Stars, come on, I've dealt with enough of these guys. Are you kidding me? Trick Stars get really annoying, I'm not going to lie. I, th there's... I'm glad Light Stage is at one. This deck does not need to be a full power. It's just so ridiculous how annoying it is. I couldn't even imagine trying to do this in real life at events and keeping track of all the life points. Because, wow, that's just dumb. It, just how much it does is just incredibly ridiculous. I really do not enjoy playing against this deck. And it feels so one-sided. Like People say that Pendulum is like playing Solitaire. Trick Stars for me is way worse. I hate playing against Trick Stars because they just do stupid stuff and it's so unenjoyable i i can't get behind this deck at all and it's just so sad uh, well we'll see what they get here they might not have as big of a board as uh, a lot of the other ones i end up playing against they end up getting some really ridiculous stuff the dark room of nightmare oh man that's fair that's definitely gonna hurt okay wow all right getting getting hit with the trickstar bloom here okay so i draw a card yep all right Okay, here comes the life point ping, just taking a bunch of damage. Already 500 taken off the top. Yeah, yeah. no, this is definitely not looking good already. I really don't like this. Um, hopefully we can pop the Great Eagle and just steal some of their stuff and do some annoying things. Piss them off right back. 
go to that other trickster bloom just really wants me to draw cards and take this damage i guess i mean we're just getting a bunch of gradle cards so right now it's not really doing a lot of well, anything for us but it's kind of sad Ugh, i just don't know i just don't know <sighs> oh boy this is really upsetting i'm not gonna lie really really upsetting Okay. And honestly, I don't even know why I'm playing the Gradle split. Probably more so for Link plays, but it could be cool if you get him destroyed during the end phase. Like if you get a Cobra out and get it destroyed and then be able to take one of your opponent's monsters to be hilarious. So, okay, he's pulling out the Holly Angel. Still not quite enough to hit my Axis Code Talker, but I think this one gains attack, doesn't it? Yeah, Skr gains attack through the damage they took until the end of the turn. So he's going to be able to beat over my Axis Code Talker by hitting it with that Imperm. If he didn't hit the Imperm, we would have been fine. This is actually really sad to see. Uh, Trickstar decks just drive me nuts. You know, I just, I don't understand it. How how anyone can enjoy this this type of play is beyond me. I mean, I'm not gonna diss on anyone for playing it because I just got done doing a podcast about this very type of thing. You know, play whatever deck you want. That's cool. I can respect it. But Trickstars, you have to be a certain type of personality to play Trickstars, in my opinion. I know that they were like a really competitive deck at one point. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I have, I've been out of the game for a while, by the way. I just came back last September, so hey, welcome back. I've been here for a year. But, yeah, no, I've ever since I've come back, I have not enjoyed playing Trick Stars. I'm glad I've only seen, like, a few games of them, but... So he's just gonna, he's just gonna go for the Fox Glove Witch? Okay. So he's... He could have totally beat over my access code talker, but instead he's just gonna go for the damage and pass? Okay, I guess... That's fine. I don't think I have a hero in Grave, do I? No, okay, that's kind of my figure. So he's gonna hit the Trickstar Reincarnation. That's that's fair. That's fair. So actually, he gave us a really good hand. So thank you. First off, I'm going to get rid of the stupid Trickstar card here. Get rid of that, and I'm gonna get rid of that Dark Room Nightmare. Oh, it can protect itself. Okay, that's fair. Okay. I should have. Oh, because they're both dark. Okay, fair enough. So, we'll go ahead. Hmm. <laughs> um. Okay, so we have one aqua type monster with the same level. Oh, okay. As the monster special is. Okay, so I need a level three. That's the issue. Oh, I don't even have anything engraved. Okay, so that's fine. Um, what do I have that I can link into here? So I can't really go for. Okay, so I can go for the dupe frog. Just to be able to summon out the Ronin Totem from Graveyard. Be about the best that I'm going to be able to do here. Because that Gradle did get banished. So, oops. Special summon. We'll bring out the Amirage. Just to get rid of the Dupe Frog. Just need to be able to go into the Ronin Totem. Banish the Dupe. So, do I get the. I don't get those cards back, do I? No, I don't. Okay. That's fair. So he's gonna hit the Trickstar reincarnation. He just wants to special summon a Trickstar back. That's fair. I really should use that access code to pop the Dark Room of Nightmare. I wasn't thinking. I didn't realize he had protection. I should have known that. Like with any deck that's competitively viable, it's got like graveyard protection. But that's fine. <sighs> this is gonna be a long game, isn't it? Wow, we're already like I swear double the time from the other game. This is just crazy. Okay, you, you're just gonna thank you. Alright, perfect. So I really don't want to deal with that Holly Angel, but I might have to. Yeah, I don't have any other plays, unfortunately. You kind of shut out everything. So this is a rough one. Uh, yeah. Oh, hey, I have another. I can. Oh, I can get rid of that. That works. That's really all I needed. So I kind of want to get rid of this one. I don't know if he has more protection, though. Yeah, I don't want that to get big. I really don't. So we're just going to go battle phase and swing over this other one here. Because I don't think he has any more protection for it. Okay. So maybe, yep, perfect. All right, so we were able to get rid of it. So what's he got going on here? Does he have anything cool going? No? No more Trickstar shenanigans? Please be done. Please. Please don't have anything. All right, what has he got here? I'm waiting. I'm waiting to see if he's got something. Because I can always use the Gradle Split to help protect my access card, if nothing else. Because it, 
It just gives him 500 attack. <laughs> it's gonna be hard for him to beat over 2800. He's going for the Crimson Heart. Okay, what does this one do again? So he gains 200 life points. Okay. This card one tricks several players draw one card with life points at least two higher than your opponents. Wow, he gets to draw two cards. That's just tons of advantage. That's gonna be scary. Okay. Wow. All right, we'll just put that down there. Um. All right. End phase it is then. That's really all we got here. There's not much else there's gonna be for this this game. Oh wow. I might have to end up cutting through some of this because this is just. Oh, are you kidding me? Another one. So that means it's just okay. So that's at least 600 damage every time I take effect damage, but it's gonna be a lot more than that. Oh, this is gonna be ridiculous. This is gonna be ridiculous. Oh, he didn't special. Summon it. He didn't do it to that zone. Oh, sad day. So it's normal summon. You get that one trick star card from his deck to his hand. Okay. That's. Uh, this is gonna suck so bad. This is really gonna suck. Okay, what's he gonna add here? He's definitely very carefully thinking out these plays, which means you can tell he's definitely uh, either just starting off with the deck or has plenty of experience in the deck and just needs to adapt with the situation. Either way, it's probably not a good situation, uh, most likely. Anyhow, I'd have to imagine. Oh boy. Um, well, yeah, I really don't know how to respond to this because this is. This deck has always been hard for me to play against. I know it's not impossible to play against, and in most cases it's actually pretty easy, but it always happens when I'm playing the really jank decks like this, and I have no way to actually stop it, so yikes, I don't know. Okay, so he's gonna take he's gonna give us some damage here. I'm not excited for that. So he's gonna gain is he gonna gain eight hundred off of that? Oh wait, no, this isn't the one that gains attack points. He's just gonna inflict a bunch of damage. Okay. That's fine. As long as it doesn't actually kill us yet, we might still be able to stay in the game. So he's not able to beat over me just yet. Alright, and we got the E emergency call. Which means I can actually use it. And I'll be able to get some cradle cards too, so I can make some plays here, potentially. Oh, shh. That's right, he's got reincarnations. Um, Yeah, well, I guess that's that. We're kind of screwed. So we got the plasma. Okay, no, this actually this works perfect. Because now we can just go ahead... Special summon. I have a plan here. I'm glad that I drew the plasma. Actually, this could not have come at a better time. Uh, we're going to mill another frog anyways, just because I can use the Ronin Tonin for plays. So I'm excited for this. So I do not want to chain another card. All right, and then we will send... We'll just send a dupe frog from the deck, just to have more frogs. So... Hmm. Okay, so there's nothing here about any limits on anything. So I'm just going to equip it to you. Just for lulls, um, because I can destroy it and special summon two monsters, which I can use for more stuff. Oh, it destroys the monsters it's attached to, but that's fine. We just needed the materials, so we'll get the Gradle Alligator. Yeah, it doesn't matter what we get, we just need Gradle monsters. Or just monsters in general, if we're being quite honest. So we'll special summon these guys. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> so I can hit the Toad. Oh, yikes. So that's not going to do what I want it to do. So this is going to be a bummer. Um, actually, wait, no, this works. This works because we can just get rid of these three. Right? So we get these three out. Okay, and then now we can use the Ronin Tonin in Graveyard to banish the Dupe Frog, special summon itself back out, and get the Toad from Extra Deck. So this actually works? What? You're kidding me. Oh, this is funny. Alright, so we're going to special summon the toad first, just so we do have a negate to dodge some stuff if we need it. So there's our toad. And then now we can actually activate our plasma to be able to steal that. And go in for some damage here. It's great how we just turn things back around, because most of their trickstar stuff involves their monsters doing things anyways. So, here we go. Let's get some damage in. 5200 to be exact. That is a pretty good start to this. And I don't know if he's going to have much to recover. Um, he might be, he's probably gonna do that Trickstar Reincarnation to Special Summon from Graveyard, which is fine. Oh, he's actually not. Okay. Oh, because I have, probably because I have the Toad to block it. Then I could use it on him. Oh, that's funny. Alright, so there we go. We got some damage in. Let's see if he tries to activate anything. If it's the right card, I'll, I'll Toad it. Just because I really don't want to deal with it. I love having the Toad. It's actually been, like, the biggest blessing for this deck. Okay, so let's turn... Actually, spell it. You can send one octave monster from your hand or face a field. Oh, okay, no. So, 
Oh, let's turn it into the standby phase. Okay, yeah, we'll special summon a frog from deck. Why not? That way we can get more materials in the, or we can get the Ronin to the graveyard at least, so we can special summon it again later. All right, then we'll just special summon our swap frog because lol. <laughs> it's another material, and we can use this effect to dump more to the grave, so that works. So we have even more stuff for Ronin Tonin. Uh, what do you need here? Banish one frog. Okay, that's fine. We'll just throw a Gradle Slime Junior just to fill up our graveyard. Might give us a chance to draw into the Pot of Avarice and be able to recycle some stuff, too. He has banished a lot off of that Trickstar Reincarnation, though. That has really been hurting. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but it's gotten us to where we are now, and it's ultimately been able to probably save us this game. So, yeah, there goes the Reincarnation. I had the feeling it was coming. Um, I, oh, I can't negate that, huh? I should be able to. No, I can't. Probably just because he banished it. That's probably why. I'm not sure what he's trying to do. So he can't activate that. Okay, that's fine. It's negated, so... Okay. That's fine. I, I'm not sure what he's trying to do here. Is he just going to attack into the toad? That's all he's going to do, is attack the toad. Okay. That's fine. I'll just add him back to the extra deck and be able to play him again next turn. So... Thanks, I guess? All right, that's fine. You just kind of ended the game for yourself, buddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> and we get the Great Old Cobra, too, so... I should be able to bring out the Ronin Tonin anyways. Oh, yeah, just go away from the see if he's going to activate it. Okay. Ronin Tonin, bring you out. Banish that last Swap Frog. I believe that's our last frog in the deck, period. So if this gets negated, we're a little bit boned. So that's fine. We'll go for game. So let's... We'll just have that Toad to back us up. Give us the negate. So that we can stay safe and not have to worry about a thing. And just like that, it's game. So you guys have been able to witness firsthand the Gradle Frog Heroes. And you didn't really get to see much of the Gradle. Um, it did help us in bringing out the Plasma. So I guess it did that much. So thank you guys for joining us for this uh, live game, these live games today. I really had a lot of fun doing this. And like I said, if you enjoy the live style of format, uh, let us know down in the comments. I might keep doing these. I know Dang's planning to continue doing replays like he always does. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for joining us. This has been a huge blast. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you guys can see future videos from this channel in the future and get more content from us as well. So, once again, thank you so much for tuning in. Remember to have fun and make your move. Also, don't forget to check out my channel. Link down in the description. Peace out. I'm a love giver. Searching for